Hi guys, it's Adam and today I'm bringing you a video about bio-interpretations on eBay um, and I will be asking one of my close friends um, some questions about his interpretations on feedback, poor lighting and photos and also attitudes towards buying used products. Um, so without further ado, we may as well get into this video and I'm assuming there's going to be quite a lot of bloopers in this video. Um, so without further ado, let's go! Hi guys, it's Adam and today I have my special guest with me. So special guest, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, so uh, I'm not your experienced eBayer. I am what Adam has referred to me as a casual eBayer. So that's why I'm here to do some questions and answers. Yeah, so uh, we'll get straight on with it. And this is going to be sort of um, a buyer's interpretation of some of the things that we all talk about. Um, so first off, the first question out of three questions is does a feedback score of below 1000 affect your buying decision? Okay, um, not really, no. I don't think that it's that important to have anything uh, too high on your feedback. It's more the quality that the feedback has. So you want to keep your, your positives high and your negatives low and that's what basically I'd look for. So you're feedback. talking about you're talking about um, feedback percentage. So you'd you'd like to see a high feedback percentage, but not necessarily a high feedback score. Yes. Yeah. The higher the better. You know. Yeah. yeah. Can't be high scores. Um, so secondly, in your opinion, would you buy from a listing that had photos with poor lighting? Right. So to me, photos are really important. So they need to. What I like to see is the nice white background, a good quality picture, no like blurring and the product fully laid out and so you can see all the areas of it and plenty of pictures as well, uh, not just one. So yeah, put some, put some effort into the photos because it really reflects kind of how you treat your product and that you're quite a serious kind of uh, yeah, seller. So, definitely. Yeah, um, yeah I, I take pride in my photos as I know a lot of you guys do and I think a lot of buyers do appreciate you putting the time and effort into snapping a few more photos and of a little bit better quality. So if you haven't got a great lighting setup or anything like that, try and do whatever you can to improve those photos. So third and final question, what is your attitude towards buying used products on eBay? Okay, so that's basically one of the main reasons why I'd go to eBay is usually to, to buy a, a used product rather than new most of the time um, but you use products what you'd want to do is probably again using back to photos make sure you've got good photos of good quality uh, and be really honest in your description as well so don't um, don't hide anything so if you know if you're up front with the things which are a problem then the the buyer can be reassured that there's not going to be any surprises um, with the products that they're buying um, and yeah, put some time into the description and clean it up as well. Yeah, important clean, when yeah, cleaning items is definitely a big one for us. Um, so yeah, anything else on that, or are you okay? No, I think that's, that's, yeah. that's all right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you heard it first from a buyer here. Um, he is a casual buyer, and Daniel will buy various different things on eBay from new and used products, and it just sort of helps define that answer we've all been looking for about what buyers really think about our listings and whether they are good or whether they are bad and and what sort of premise they put on photos and indeed descriptions and titles and in Daniel's case that is quite a big one he likes to look at the photos and the descriptions and if if, if those things aren't there if, if those pictures aren't as good as another listing he may choose to go to that other listing so any final remarks are you okay you've got everything out yeah i think that's pretty much it just just to reaffirm it takes time to put it get together a good um a good description a good photos and a good listing but yeah and it really well, comes yeah. across to the buyers so yeah stick to doing that and you'll be fine i think okay so we will say bye it's bye from me and bye the, from me <laughs> the old two runny thing uh yeah so see you very soon guys Hi guys, it's Adam and today we're going to have on a casual buyer who's one of my friends 
Ein Zweier! What we'll do, what we'll just do. Redo the, we'll, redo yeah, we'll do the question. question, yeah. Hang on. Oh, just oh, for God's, God's sake, sake. John! <laughs>